Jeanette, what's the quote of the day? Okay, that's not a quote, but I. Right. What to do, guys? It's your boy, Noah J. And guess what? We got a special feature here today. That's right. I got my boy, my brother, my right hand man, and the man I look to when it comes to anything doing with finances or finding location. Fits the realtor, my boy. What's going on, guys? What's going on, guys? So I'm just gonna do a quick introduction of myself. Uh, I'm a realtor here in the DFW area. Um, and I love to invest in my free time. I love to do a lot of financial stuff in my free time. Uh, I've been working on my credit since I was a junior in high school. So there's a lot of stuff that I would say I have an edge on with finance and people that I'm connected with. Uh, they're able to give me a lot of pointers on finance also. So I have a lot of uh, accumulated wealth, I would say with just finance. So uh, that's pretty much it guys. That's a quick interview on me. Now, my boy Fist the Realtor, I brought him here today because I actually wanted to share some information with y'all that he has shared with me and taught me the ways of. And now I am proud to say that I know this information and will soon be applying it because it's very valuable information. It's not valuable as in riches. It's actually valuable as in wealth. No difference. No difference. My boy Fitz, what's the difference between riches and wealthiness so a good example on the difference between riches and wealth is if you think of either disney if you think of coca-cola that's wealth those people are gone dead sounds messed up but their brand that they made exactly but the brand that they made has provided a wealth standard for their family walt disney he, he's been dead since, what, the 70s, 80s, um, maybe even before that. But the Disney name is still well known. The Disney name is still being broadcasted everywhere. Coca-Cola, the person that made Coca-Cola died, sold it to someone else. And the person that originally made it, their family is still collecting royalties off of it. Um, the best way to describe riches are a majority of the artists that we have today. Uh, they get a four or $500,000 sign on, sign on bonus and think that they're balling and think that they're uh, wealthy. Um, but no, I'm not gonna throw any shade at any particular artist, but five or 600,000 isn't gonna build the wealth for you and your family and the generations to come. Um, you're having to actually step into a business realm where you can make that happen. And there's so many other different types of businesses that can provide wealth. So that, that's my that's my intake on riches versus wealth, guys. So instead of riches, now I know wealth is the valuable option. How would I build wealth? So you can build mel you can build wealth through many different facets, such as um, investment opportunities through the stock market. That's a great opportunity because you can invest money and forget about it, and it's still going to grow for you. Um, and real estate is a second great investment. Um, the third one would be just to build a brand that you you focus on particular people's needs. Noah J way, baby. Hey guys, so Love Noah it. J has one of the best it's interviews the that's, come, that's coming your way. So with with actual wealth, like I said, there's multiple facets. It really just depends on what's going to fix to your needs. Um, but you always make sure you always have to make sure you invest in the stock market. The reason why is because no matter if we're in a pandemic, no matter if we're in a great recession, no matter if we're in a great depression, the stock market has always rebounded every single time, a hundred percent of the time. Fucking bars. So, so I'm just going to say like that guys, if you're not invested in the stock market now, you need to be. The reason why is because if you're spending money at all these big brokerage stores or big box stores such as Walmart, Sam's Club, Target, you need to own those because when they pay out their dividend checks, you can use their checks to go and pay for your groceries, pay for anything else that you're looking for, such as Apple devices. I can go on and on, guys. But I'll tell y'all, I'll tell y'all what he needs to tell y'all. One day he picked me up, we went and had lunch, went to Benbrook Lake, chilled out, had a great time. He stopped me by Walmart so I could hit the bank and I grabbed me a mocha on the way out. Y'all know me. Gotta have me a coffee. As soon as I got in the car, he looked at me. He said, hey, man, how much did you spend on that? Because every time I see you, you got a mocha. He said, how much you spend on that? I said, <laughs> man. Yeah, he laughing because it's exactly what we said. This Thanks. is the exact conversation we Thanks. had. I said, I don't know, maybe 
258, 268. I don't know. He went on his phone, went to his stock market app that he is currently right now during this segment conversation. He's making money right now, by the way. If y'all didn't know, he's he's getting paid to do this, regardless if I'm paying him or not. I get paid. He's getting paid. <laughs> and he went on his stock market app and he said the cost of one stock for Starbucks is seven nine dollars. You buy two stocks, the money you receive from buying those two stocks, they are basically paying you to buy that drink. You're going to buy it anyways. Why not have them pay it for you? And who drinks Starbucks more than Noah Jack? So if you didn't believe them, believe me, all right? Because guess what? He was right. So I guess I guess my next question is how would I want to get into real estate? How would I want to get into stocks and investing? And it all just sounds so just crazy. Yeah, it it, it definitely is overwhelming whenever you first jump into the market, guys. So first, I'm just going to start it off with stocks. If you're going to want an easy way to invest in stocks, where do you spend your money at the most? If you spend your money at Target, you spend your money at Walmart, you spend your money at Tesla, iPhone, whatever you buy the most of, you need to own one of those shares. The reason why is because you're already buying into the company. Why won't you become a business owner and own a share of the company to where whenever they pay out their dividend shares, whenever the growth, whenever the stock has growth, you can get paid. There's multiple different facets of making money in the stock market, but the easiest way to start investing is to invest in the companies that you already buy anyway such as sony if you're a big out if you're a big playstation person you need to buy sony if you're a big xbox person you need to buy a microsoft the reason why is because if you own enough shares whenever it's that time that the new xbox comes out use that dividend check that they've been sending you for the last two years three years or however long you've been owning the shares pay the new xbox for it and now that money that you're going to spend on the xbox anyways you can go pretty much divert that into another way of income, such as more stocks, um, other other wealth building opportunities. Um, but the easiest way to start in the stock market is to just invest in the stuff that you already buy daily because you're a number one fan, they're always gonna have business. So another way to start in real estate is to just get your first house. You have to build up enough money to make a down payment, pay closing costs and other stuff such as moving costs and everything like that. So you just need to gonna you just need to gonna save up some a lot of money to get into the real estate realm because if you're gonna go in as a straight investor, you're gonna have at least that you have to have at least twenty percent down to buy a house. Um, but if you're wanting to just buy a home, if you want to just be like a first time home buyer, you can have enough as only 3% down and still move into a home. And that's, that's just a starting journey. And you only have to stay in a home for two years to gain the capital gains taxes to where once it's time to sell, I mean, I might be doing a lot of jargon guys, um, but you can build a lot of wealth within real estate. So if you want more details, definitely hit me up, um, in the DMS just so I can clarify on it. Now, now. I guess what I would say is after after I start gaining this wealth, how do I maintain my wealth? Like, how do I keep up with all of this? Like, it seems like so much, especially just the stock market alone. Like, so with the stock market alone, um, you just have to do your own due diligence. What I mean by that is, is you have to go check up on the companies that you're invested in. You have to check on their earnings reports. You have to check on... Uh, just a little stuff that they're doing in the business. So say for instance with Tesla. Tesla, they're coming out with obviously the battery and they're gonna be coming out with a an affordable car that's gonna be priced in around uh, $20,000. And that's, they're, they're comparing it to the the smart car. What? Yeah. So Tesla, they're, they're, they're meaning to hit everyone. They're wanting everyone to be electric and they're gonna be, they're gonna be providing the million mile battery. Sounds crazy but it's it's a new type of technology that we haven't seen before and they're also going to be including that battery into like self-flying cars so um with tesla they're providing new technology for new companies that's why i always doing some crazy shit, man. bro that's not even it that's not even it there you, you don't even know that tesla 
purchased over 200 acres in Colorado, put solar panels in there and they're, and they're powering people's houses just with solar panels. So Tesla is definitely not just an automotive company, they're a technological company. And you just have to keep up with each individual stock and see what they're coming out with, see if they're coming out with any new flavors, see if they're coming out with any new technology, see if they're coming out with anything new that's gonna change the game. And that's whenever you decide to, where to invest and stuff like that. But how to maintain it, like I said, just keep an eye on it. You, you you don't just get paid and never look at your bank account. You always monitor it to see where you're standing at. So say for instance, same with the stock market. You have to you have to have that same little energy saying, oh, let me check on it. Let me see if their earnings are doing good. Let me see if they're releasing anything like that. And that's how you maintain a stock. And if they're not if they're not if they're not producing like you need them to, then cut them. It's not that hard. Just sell them, get your money out, and then go and go find another stock to invest in. And then with real estate, real estate is a little bit tricky because after so many doors that you have, you're gonna need help. And majority of the time, you'll go hire a property management company to maintain the doors, and then you only pay them a percentage. But the real wealth in real estate is buying multiple units, such as multifamily units, multi houses. It's it's in the numbers. But with stocks, it's the same thing. It's all numbers. It's all a numbers game, guys. It's if if you if you look past the difficulty and just realize it's just numbers, you see where the real money will be made. Oh, no, whoa, 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 whoa! Slow down, my man. I'm barely scraping by, barely being able to even save money for other things that I need or want in life. Correct. How, what, A lot of people what, are how, in the same how, position. How how can somebody like me start just putting money in just something? So the best way to start. <laughs> And just put in your money if you don't have any money to start with you have to realize the first thing to do is create a budget guys you have to create a budget and see where your money is going out the most like with noah you'll never see noah without starbucks so one of his biggest things is he buys starbucks every time i see him guys right so he has a big that's one of his biggest spend out is starbucks no biggest spend out so that means hey instead of going to buy starbucks every every morning or every evening Go buy the bag of coffee beans that Starbucks makes. Go buy their creamer and make it at home so you're not paying that that actual hands-on, such as what they call um, a technician fee or a labor fee. You're not paying that labor fee. You're just making it at home. You're still getting to enjoy your coffee. Just make it at home to where you're not paying that extra tax. And that you, you just cut out little things like that. Like with myself, um, I realized that I really don't watch Netflix and I really don't watch cable. So I don't have Netflix and I don't have cable, but I have Wi-Fi because I need Wi-Fi. And I, and I watch YouTube more than I watch Netflix. So it, you, you just have to cut out those small, those small little areas that you spend a lot of money in. You have to cut those little small areas out. Basically, stop buying that stupid shit. Thank you. That's it. So, I mean, if you, if you drink every weekend, Maybe you maybe you don't need to go drink out every year. You weekend. don't need five beers. Drink two. Take your fucking ass home. Simply wait. Simply said. Um, if you smoke a lot, don't smoke a lot. Cut yeah. back. It kills you anyways. There you go. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. If you if you want to start investing, cut back with most of the stuff that you're spending just for pleasure, short term goal, and put it into the stock market, put it in real estate to where you start seeing those long-term goals 15 Jeff years is now. taking his sweet ass time. Jeff, bro, where you at? Over there? Okay, cool. Appreciate it.